Hello. Hello. <laughs> I've got a gorgeous gear with me. We're on holiday. <laughs> and there's no bears that we've encountered so far. And my usual haunt of Chilwell Valley. First stop. Oh, what have we done? Nothing. I'll stick in it. It wastes the time in a minute. Okay. Um, we're heading towards T Bay Services. And we're going to overnight in T Bay Services. Um, purely and simply because there's no point in us. We've got a caravan on the back of us. And there's no point in going to a campsite. And I know this looks like I'm pointing to the ceiling as well, doesn't it? It's rubbish. Um, so we're heading to T-Bay Services. We're going to stay there the night, hopefully, if we can get a spot. Because um, one of Kira's oldest friends, that she went to university, is going to come and meet us for dinner. So that'd be nice. So, uneventful journey up, apart from getting in a convoy of gypsies. <laughs> We were lead. We were lead. <laughs> and there was about four or five vans behind us, all towing caravans. <laughs> that was entertaining, not. <clears throat> so you'd have to excuse the angle of the. Uh... I can't really do much about it at the moment, I don't think. Oh, there's nothing behind me. There's that. That's better. Right, I'm on our way again. This was rammed when we come in here. There was like queuing out the, up by the roundabout up here to get in. Just idiots not knowing what to do. So we're getting back on the M40, M40, M42, M5, M6. You know the score. Same old, same old. And then we're heading up towards uh, Aberdeenshire tomorrow. How long will it take from T-Bay to Aberdeenshire? Yeah, about five, six hours. Okay. Something like that. So, uh, not too bad. I can't remember to go left here. So, everything working as it should do at the moment, which is good. Yeah, no dramas, except for my sat nav is not deciding not to work. No, uh, no signal from the sun. Yeah. Don't know quite what's going on here. On well, different networks, though, aren't they? Where are these all going? No, yeah, no. So I bought a new set of caravan mirrors yesterday. <laughs> set? Yeah. Well, I thought they were a set. There's only one in the bloody box. I did think when you got the box out that that's a small box for two mirrors. No, they would have all gone in there, but it's like... There we go. Cruising speed, same as the truck. Mm. What does that just now? No. I'll have to type it in again. Overcast today, which is uh, fine by me. So don't get your sun in the eyes. Oh, this is not easy. Okay. Let's do that. Stop. I know. We're whispering. I'm whispering. You're whispering. You got to talk quite loud, like you normally do. And you're barking instructions at me. <laughs> Keep my mouth shut, then. 
So we're heading to Scotland. Two reasons. Firstly, because we're going on holiday. And secondly, because we're looking at some houses. We've got three booked in so far. And uh, we've got to make another couple of phone calls on Monday, I suspect, because they haven't got back to me. State agents, they're funny, really strange people. You know? They make vast amounts of money out of you in commission. Yeah. Give them the opportunity to show you around the house, they seem rather reluctant sometimes. I can't quite make that one out myself. I don't know. So anyway, there's a couple that haven't got back to me. But we've definitely got three booked in, and that's our three more or less favourites, isn't it, really? Yeah. There's one other that we really like, but we don't know if we can. they'll even accept us because, oh, I don't know, there's all sorts of different reasons, but they're dead. I don't know, it's just strange folk. Strange folk. So we've got my absolute favourite. The one in Elon. Yep. And what's the third one? Is that the long one? With yes. All the land. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> the house is quite small. Small, isn't it? yeah. So we've got a good choice to, to run with at the moment. These are the uh, these are the top top three because we're you know we're, we're very close. We've got all the cats in the room. <laughs> I've told you the story about what yeah. I, my analogy is that there's a, a room yeah. with a white line painted down the middle of it. Right. And we've got a dozen cats. Yeah. And we've got to make all the cats sit independently on the white line for everything to happen. Well, that's never going to happen. Well, no, it's, 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 it's tough. And just when you think you've got like nine of them all on the line, you turn your head to go and get the other three and six of them are fucked off. <laughs> so, my plan is, is that the last three that we can't get on, we use Velcro. And we're just gonna Velcro them to the white line. So we're nearly there. We've got nine on the line and three that are a bit all over the place. So it's just a question of catching them and putting Velcro vests on them. That's all it is. Isn't it ducks in the line? The analogy. Well, it would be ducks in the line, but... Ducks in the road? Ducks in a row, yeah. The cats on the line. Cats on the line, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the plan, that's the loose plan. So we're going up there, have a look at the area. I've already been up. So uh, it's just for the gorgeous girl to have a look around and see what she thinks. But it's a really lovely area. And uh, yeah. Looking forward to it. So we got roughly about four hours worth of driving now to get us up there to where we need to be for tonight, and then that's uh, call it a day. Nice easy day. So it's saying arrival as it says now, ten to four. Yeah. But that's if we're going 70 miles an hour. Yeah, so call it five. If we don't stop again. If we don't stop again. <coughs> so I don't think the picture's too bad now. I think it's uh, looking all right. No, it should be alright. Better than some of the times in the truck when it's flying from one end of the dashboard to the other. <laughs> Spire. There's a big monument up the top of this road, isn't there? Is it? On the right hand side, yeah. Somebody wants to tell me what it was all about, but I'm sure I'll be... Hopefully somebody will let us know what it is. So currently achieving 26.2 miles to the gallon with a big old lumpy caravan on the back. And that'll go up. At least with the Range Rover on there. Yeah. So all is good, all is good.
There are a lot of caravans in Sherwell Valley. Oh, oh, no. Countryman. We're thinking oh, of different. Countryman. Yeah. Oh. We're thinking of different cars. For when we get up there. We're thinking of a bit of a change around. If we don't have the caravan. If we don't have the caravan. Which we probably won't because we'll be too busy. So at the moment in the stable we have a Range Rover. Charlie. A Fiat 500. Thanks. And a white transit van. Which you've never named. Which I've never named. So the idea is get rid of the transit and I'd like a series Land Rover. Series 2A, 2 or 3, possibly a Defender, but realistically I would, I would like to have, as long as the condition is okay, a Series 3, long wheelbase if possible, but not the end of the world, Land Rover. Just because they're so simple to work on and cheap on parts. Um, and we get rid of the transit van. Because where we're going, or the places that we're looking at, are all down farm tracks. So, you know, you need to, and, and with the land that we need, we need something that I can get about the land with as well. So, series Land Rover, good workhorse, and four wheel drive capability can get me over, all over the place. So that's the idea for that, so that's the transit sorted. Fiat 500, so we're left with the Fiat 500 and the Range Rover. So then the idea is to get rid of the Range Rover yeah. if we don't have the caravan and buy something a little smaller. So we've narrowed it down and at the moment the front runners are Mini Countryman. Countryman. Um, What's it? Ford oh, Cougar. Ford Cougar, all-wheel drive. And we did think about the Kia, Kia Sportage. Sportage? Sportage. <laughs> Fluent. Um, although I'm not that keen on the Fiat. The Fiat? So, the, uh, the, the Kia. Kia. Yeah, Kia. Unless anything else crops up that we think is will do the part. It's got to be big enough. It's got to be big enough to get four people to Holland if necessary, with luggage. And to be able to do that on a regular basis and back down south to the south coast again on a possible potential regular basis. So, you know, we need to be able to, you know, not sit in a car that's going to be like the Fiat. <laughs> and the Fiat, we're not sure what's going to happen because we don't know what... Um, Maddie's going to do. No. So, <coughs> she may have the opportunity to buy it from us. Because at the moment, <laughs> she just I uses it, thinking it's hers. I don't think she needs to think there's a requirement to buy it. No, what, well, this, is, this, is the, this is the problem, isn't it? She thinks she's got a car. Well, even you referred to it to her, her car, car the other yeah. day. Yeah. It's my car. She does tend to uh, take an ownership of it. Was Aston Martin? So yeah, that's the that's the plan with the the cars in the stable, the vehicles in the stable at the moment. Um, but we're going to see, we're going to do one whole year. Yeah. With the Range Rover still. With the Range Rover. And just see what it's like in the winter, system, whether we need four wheel drive or not. Yeah. The van's going to go though. Yeah van will go and they swap that out for a Land Rover. And a trailer. And a trailer. Yeah, I want a trailer. And that is about it, I think. I don't I don't think there's anything else to update you with. We've, uh, we've oh, okay, go. that you don't know already anyway. So we're just gonna trundle on up the road and uh, it's like deja vu isn't it from last Saturday? Yeah, we did exactly the same journey, more or less, up to Preston, see, uh, see my daughter, to, and then go to a wedding. Then, um, 
Yeah, that was an odd one, wasn't it? Mm. That was an odd one. That was my first wife's second husband's third wedding. <laughs> right, you, you, you all right with that? Did you get it all? So, my first wife, her second husband, and it was his third wedding. <laughs> right. And there was another combination, wasn't it? My stepdaughter's stepfather's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whichever way you look at it, it doesn't sound right, does it? But it was very nice, and we were privileged. Small. Yeah, small, but we were privileged to be there. And it was uh, it was a good day, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, it was. All things considering. Oh yeah, it was in Southport. Considering it was, yeah, considering it is in Southport, and uh, which was a bit of a weird experience, must say. But uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, the the day itself was um, was really nice, really nice. Yeah, stayed in a lovely hotel, but I think I've spoken about this already. Have you? Yeah, so, but yeah, all is good. These units are still empty, look, they, they've been empty for, since they've been, well, over a year now. Well over a year. Still got nobody in them. Yeah. Well, that wasn't a very good business plan, was it? No. Uh, it's costing somebody some money. That's probably. Yeah. So I'll update you a bit further on down the road, I reckon. So, speak to you later. Cheers. Oh, hope I put it in gear. <laughs> Slam back services. Splash and dash. <laughs> and um, 100 miles to uh, T-Bay. Which is where we're going to overnight. Look at the size of these bumps down here. Ooh. I mean, why would you, why would... Just before... <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now floor it. Ooh, there's a lorry coming. But we got the power. There we go, we're at a cruising speed already. Don't even know it's on the back. Excellent, that was easy. Right, so yeah, little update, what time's it now? It's um, 10 past three. 10 past three. Uh, Birmingham was a bit of a pain in the ass, so it's just really slow, but Birmingham's always like that, so. Um, and we've had a few other little sort of slow ups, haven't we? Yeah, but mostly, mostly around Birmingham. Yeah, but no, um, no serious dramas, and uh, yeah, we should be on target for T Bay in quarter past five, something like that. Something like that, cut of hours, and uh, yeah, then we go from there. Anyway, um, that's about it. I'll speak to you all later. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. There's some beautiful views here. We've um, we already decided that we're staying in Tea Bay tonight, but we've found out about an hour ago from our friend who's going to come and join us that um, Tea Bay actually has a campsite. So yeah. we've booked into the. Oh, jeez, oh. Christ. We've booked into the. Wasn't me. Booked into the campsite <laughs> this time. <laughs> booked into the campsite for the same money as it would have been the park in a pristine trucky bit. That's true, I forgot you had to pay to stay in the yeah, yeah. So, um, pristine truck bit. So, a uh, bit of a result, so that'll be good. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. We're nearly there, we've got six miles to go. Look at these views though, it's beautiful. I wonder if that police car was chasing that and was, was going after where that unmarked police car went. Could be. We've seen a few coppers fly by. So that was the second one. Beautiful. Where is this then? Yeah, well, six miles from T Bay, south. I know, but what are these? I don't know, Lake, part of the Lake District, isn't it? 
Mas é não é? Tails. Não, não. Não é em Lancashire, não é? Ou há em Yorkshire? Não, um... Cumbria. Well now we're in Cumbria, aren't we? Well done. Let's see if I can identify. You speak up a bit. Sorry. <coughs> you mumble. Yeah, right. Oh, well, one of the mountains over there is called the Calf. Okay. And is 676 metres high. So I think generally. Ah, the Pennines. Right, yeah. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. So on the right, you've got the Pennines. On yeah. the left, you've got... Uh, Lake District National Park. Okay. Where Scarfell Pike is, which I've yeah. been up. Well done. Yeah. My dad. You've done a lot, haven't you? Done so, I've done Snowden, I've done Scarfell Pike. I haven't done Ben Nevis. Oh, you haven't done Ben Nevis? No. Where's Ben Nevis? Wales, well, isn't it? No, Snowden's Wales. Snowden. No, Ben Nevis, Fort William. Oh, Scotland. Yeah. We could go and do it. No. Then I've done all three. No. <laughs> I'll wait at the bottom. You can get the train up Ben Nevis, can't you? Can you get the train up there? I don't know. You can up Snowden. Ah, uh, maybe not then. I walked up Snowdon only a few months after having um, knee surgery. You're, you're my hero. No, I was thin and younger. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Right, so where's Ben Nevis then? Are we near Ben Nevis? Not now, but where no, are we staying? No, We're not. <laughs> Other side of the country. Is it? Yeah, it's Fort William Way. Hopefully there's no accident up ahead. Oh, I hope not. Which will just uh, bugger us up right at the very end. We've got 3.7 miles to go. Oh yeah, Ben Nevis is near Fort William. Yeah, you will, yeah. Which is the other side of the country. Yep, funny enough. We'll <laughs> have to do that another time. Yeah. So in other news, we're getting 27 miles of the gallon. 27.1? Well, that was the best. It's dropped down to 27 there. Which I don't think is too bad. No. Considering we're towing a rather large caravan. We've got half my wardrobe in the car. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that, that's the other thing. 40 pairs of shoes. No. 400 hoodies and jumpers. No. Just in case. Three trainers. Oh, hang on, no. Yeah, no, don't go through it all. We'll be all day. We'll run out of video. <laughs> Some of these blokes, they're like... I've not going to have some tea yet. No, the shoes are not outrageous. No. Climbing boots, wellies, three trainers, a pair of Birkenstocks, oh, another pair of sandals, and some flip flops. So, boys, you, you're all right with that? <laughs> that's not too much for a two week holiday. No heels. No heels, no. No heels. No, that's good. Not steady on them. <laughs> M6 junction 38 to 39 fog. <coughs> really? What? They're lying bastards, aren't they? Where's it going to be foggy? What junction are we now? Oh, I don't know. 38. No, next one coming up. Your uh, wind socks out, look. Yeah. Is that copper coming back down? Look? They got away from him. <laughs> so just going past the junction 38 truck stop. Not stopping it. We're going to T Bay. Fog. Not looking that foggy. And that's why you can't trust a smart motorway, innit? That sort of sums it up, really, doesn't it? Yeah. 
favourites. Yeah, it's a nice part of the world. Not this one we're coming off of. No, and then there's a, it's a turning off the slip road that says caravan. Yeah, so the truck stop is over there. Have you Top. stayed there before? No, I haven't actually. It's over to the right somewhere, isn't it? You don't normally come this north up. Don't normally come this far, no. Not on this side of the country, I go to Newcastle and Washington and a bit for Olmwick. No, oh, Annick, innit? It's not called it Olmwick, Annick. How you pronounce it? So we've got half a mile to go. And then we've got to find a pitch. So we can just choose any apparently. Yeah. So let's see if we can argue over this. Oh, just Well let's try not to argue. One. But it won't be any good picking the nearest one because that won't be right, will it? that would be one that's pointing in a certain direction that will please you. I'll tell you what, why don't you choose all choosing. by yourself? I'm not choosing because no, it would be wrong. You don't. Well, of no. course it will. Well, of course, course yes, exactly. Oh, oh, look, there's another one. Look again. Okay, so. Maybe they're just bored. Right, look out for this sign. Okay, bear's the right. Bear left. On an adventure before dementia, do you see I've that? I've seen it, yeah. Right, as you uh, come in on the slip road. Oh, hang on. Oh, maybe I've got the instructions wrong. Oh. Yeah, because, oh no, hold on. Hold on, no, oh, no, I'm in the wrong place. Caravan park, left. Oh yeah. No I, traders, I'm... buses, lorries, train vehicles permitted on site, so that's okay. So, oh, I think I have to go and put a. I think I have to. Okay, go. Oh, what's that? The cattle breed. Oh. Okay, park behind this German gentleman. Yep. I think I need to put in a. Pick an off. empty numbered pitch and sight your caravan in front of the number. And sight your caravan in front of the. Okay, wait. So do I need to be here? What do you yes, think? Yes, I think. What? Wait for him to go, because I think behind there, I saw him doing something. Before, I think. <coughs> oh no, there's nothing there. No. I wasn't sure if I had to put in the ton number plate. It's not that was just jet stream over. Touring so, pictures. Caravan park. Why does it say caravan? There. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's very well. No idea. Caravan park. Caravan park. So we just go in here somewhere? Mm -hmm. Oh, that sort of goes all the way down there, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, we don't really want to be next to anybody. No, I reckon we take number 11. Oh, okay. No? Um, it's got a bit of sunshine. Yeah, I'm totally in the wrong position to get into that now. Oh, right. You, you choose one. Let's go down here and see what there is. I'll just come back. Mm -hmm. And then come in here and spin in and out. I don't want one of these ones. You don't want any of these? No. Okay. Put one of these down here. It's look nice. Uh, where do you want? Oh, what about that one? This 25? One, yeah. Or 24. 24? Do you like that one? Yeah. It's a bit lopsided though. Okay, you do. It's on a slope. Let's go back round to where you said, number 11. Yeah. Oh, I think somebody's taken it. Was he? He has yeah, as well. I told you. Okay, let's go around here. No, this that's all touring up there. That's all there's caravans here. Oh, yeah. We are touring. There's a water pipe there. Okay. About 39. 
39? Yeah. Yeah, because it's fairly level there as well. There's Pump some. In front of the number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too tight. Oh, touchies. Shall I go say that? You can do if you want to. Yeah. Just hold on, I've got to find where that number is. It's over there. It's the, um, where's the oh. parking sensor? Because it oh, tells me there's oh, something beyond, and there is. There's bloody a great caravan. There's a bloody great caravan. I'm not anywhere near where I need to be. Well, the toilet's just oh, I'm not anywhere near where I need to be. I can't see where I'm supposed to be, which is the thing. I can't see the number. I can't see where the number is. I can't, I'll, seriously, yeah, yeah, I've got to see if it's your concert where the number is. <laughs> Anybody think I was a truck driver? That's what I just said. Yeah. And everybody knows I have problems parking. <laughs> I think we're more or less straight now. If I go straight now. Ah, oh, it's over there. Miles away. It's over there, we're getting there. Hang on. Anyway, I'm more or less here. I'll speak to you later.